When did they invent the eyeglass, the reading glass? The reading glass, earlier than that, but I don't, I don't know when. The, the real advance was putting two lenses in line with one another. Sounds trivial in modern times, but that was a huge leap, conceptual leap in what you would accomplish. And in so doing, depending on how you curve them and how you grind them, grind the, the shape of those lenses, you would get a microscope or a telescope. And, and we're off to the races. That's basically the birth of modern science as we now think of it and, 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 and conduct it. Because you say to yourself, my senses, I don't trust them to be the full record of what's going on in front of me. You pull out a microscope, oh my gosh, Leeuwenhoek, he got a, a, the microscope guy, he, th he got a, a, a drop of pond water, puts it under his microscope, just to think to do this. It's just water. Why do you think that's something interesting to do? He said, I wonder. He was curious. He puts it under and sees little, what he described as animacules, happily a swimming. Animacules. Animacules. These are like the amoebas and paramecia. Yeah. And oh, oh, it is. Uh, and so he writes, he reports on this to, to the, you know, the scientific authorities and they don't believe him. <laughs> they say, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Von Leeuwenhoek, uh, we think you might have had too much gin before you wrote this letter. <laughs> Why would anyone believe this? That there's entire creatures, an entire universe of creatures thriving in a drop of pond water. And so the way science works is one report does not make it true. You need verification. They sent people to the Netherlands to verify his results. And there it was, the birth of microscopy.